Hey there, welcome to Jimmy A Productions. I'm your host, Jimmy. The reason for this video is to go over exactly what it is you're paying for when you hire a photographer. Now as a client, you want the best for the least amount of money, but what exactly is the best? Let's go over that real quickly. The first thing you're paying for when you hire a photographer is their equipment. They have a camera body, a camera body that costs anywhere from $800 to about $3,000. So pick your poison, you know, they might have anywhere in between that for their body. Then they have to have lenses. Lenses are very important, they're actually what makes the photo. So each lens can cost anywhere from $100 to $10,000. If you want those crazy out of this world, Anyways, 10,000 probably not, but you know, anywhere from let's say uh, 100 to uh, 2,000. If you have a $10,000 lens, well, you're probably a little more advanced than uh, this website. But anyways, back to the point. The third thing you're paying for, and final thing, is their flash. So you have the camera, you have the lens, and then you have the flash for a nighttime photo. I don't personally like flash, so I don't actually own one. I, I don't want an external one, but you might have to have that it makes the camera heavier and they pay for it to make you have gorgeous photos. So that's the first thing you're paying for is your equipment. Second thing you're paying for is their lighting. So let's say you go to a studio or let's say that you have an on point, on set location for the shoot that you're trying to create with your concept. And they bring some light in, they bring reflectors to make sure the light bounces correctly and yada yada yada. Yo, you're paying for that. So, you know, you're paying, if you're actually going to a studio, you're paying not only for the lights, but the actual um, studio rental and the lights to keep it up. So, you know, that's the second thing. The third thing and where it gets really important for what you're paying for is their education. Okay, great. You have a $3,000 piece of equipment when you wrap it all around your neck. So what? What can you actually do with that $3,000 piece of equipment? Can you take $3,000 looking photos or do you still take $150 looking photos? Please do not underestimate what I'm saying when I say those certain things. I know plenty of people who have $3,000 worth of equipment around their neck, yet their photos look like if they were taken from a $150 regular point and shoot camera. And if I had that point and shoot camera, I'd probably, that's not good. So, you're paying for their education. Now with their education, they need to know things like shutter speed, aperture, meter, and you know what, spot meter, and how the camera takes some light to produce a photograph. The camera is an incredibly complex piece of equipment, so knowing how to use it, knowing your limitations of the physics around the way it was built is key to getting you the great photographs that you need for your event, for your wedding, for your whatever the situation of the case is, you're gonna need some great photographs from somebody that knows what they're doing. If you don't know what they're doing and they put it on some auto setting, well, you get average photos, which any camera pretty much has. So you're paying for their education. And the fourth and final thing you're paying for is their experience. Education without experience is blah. You know, it's passing tests, getting hundreds on tests. But you wanna have your experience and you want, you basically, if your photographer does not learn from a shoot when he, when he or she makes a mistake, then you need to get somebody else. They, they, they basically need to be, okay, well, I if I had this opportunity again, I would do this better. So that when you come around for your event that you're gonna book with me, then when that situation comes up, guess what? I got it, bam. And also, be worried about people or photographers that take photos that all look like crap when you look at them, and they say, yeah, I'm gonna fix them with raw image editing because they're taking raw photos. Be wary, because first off, it means you don't know what you're doing in the first place. That's why, that's why you have to use after post-processing to fix your images. But if they say, oh, well, you know, I'm gonna take this photograph, it's gonna look like crap, but I'm actually bending the rules of physics that the camera has limited in this situation, and I'm gonna use the raw after effects to bend that and create gorgeous photos for you, then yes, that's the person that you want. Now me personally, I would say I know my stuff. I would say I'm on point. Check out the photos on the website. You'll see plenty of photos I've taken. You'll see plenty of situations, plenty of advanced techniques that I've used to grab different types of photos. Um, 
So I would personally say that I know my stuff. Uh, but you want to make sure that any photographer that you have really knows their stuff and knows what they're talking about. They know about the concepts that create the limitations for why a, photo a photograph looks good or a photograph doesn't. Keep this in mind. In every situation, every photograph that is taken, a perfect photograph can be taken. The question is, how many times will your photographer capture that perfect moment? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jimmy A Productions. Um, I'll also have a blog come out in the next couple of weeks, so you might already be out. Probably not um, if, you're listen, if you're watching this video, it's also in a couple of days. But a blog will come out, it'll teach you how to take your photography skills to the next level. If you're an inspiring photographer, if you're a casual photographer, it'll tell you how to take better photos with the small compact camera that you do have. I appreciate your time and I thank you for listening and tuning in. It's your boy Jimmy and I'm out. Get back at me, see you next time.